The table above shows the results of a survey of 100 voters who each responded favorable, unfavorable, or not sure when asked about their impressions of candidate M and candidate N. What was the number of voters who responded favorable for both candidates? So statement number one tells us that the voters who did not respond favorable to either was 40. So I'm going to create this double matrix just to consider the question favorable for M, yes or no. And we're going to lump together both the unfavorables and the not sures as no. And favorable for N. And again, yes, no. And from the top, we know from these numbers at the very top, we know that 40 people were favorable to, to, to M, which means 60 weren't out of the total of 100. 30 were favorable to N, which means 70 weren't. And what we're told is that 40 were not favorable to either candidate. So statement number one allows us to fill in this box. Well, we fill in that box. Well, then it turns out if we add up this row, what plus 40 equals 60? Well, that has to be 20. If we add across this row, what plus 40 equals 70? So this has to be 30, which means that there are going to be 10 here. And this checks because we add along this row or add down this column, all the numbers add up. So this statement does allow us to answer the question, how many people said yes, favorable for both candidates? So statement number one is sufficient. And incidentally, if you would like more information about how to apply this double matrix method, I would suggest investigating magoosh.com, where we have videos on all kinds of things like this. Forgetting statement number one, moving on to statement number two, statement number two tells us that the voters who responded unfavorable to both candidates was 10. So that means if we come up to the matrix here, there's 10 that's shared between these two, and then an extra 10 here that are floating around somewhere else, and an extra 25 here that are floating around somewhere else. But the trouble is that still leaves way too many possibilities, because of course, this extra 10 or this extra 25, they could be part of the folks who said favorable, they could be the folks who said not sure. We have no information about how the folks who said not sure for one candidate spoke about the other candidate. So statement number two leaves all kinds of uncertainty. And so statement number two by itself is wildly insufficient. Statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is insufficient. Answer choice A.